Hi guys, this is Dr. Jessica, your holistic Dr. Mama, where I teach you how to love your body, empower your mind, and nourish your spirit. I have something so exciting for you today. I can't wait to share this with you. I have two amazing guests for this top secret interview, Dr. Rob Heidemann and his daughter, Lori Longfield. Now, I first want to start off on how this all really transpired, and um, basically it happened just over a year ago. And what I mean by what happened is I was at a conference um, with my husband and two little girls, and um, I'll be honest, I had extreme anxiety in my life at that point, and I'm going to share with you why. I have a very, very rambunctious little one, okay? And when I mean rambunctious, I mean I go out and I walk on the treadmill. I'm at the hotel at this huge conference, right? And it's like 4 a.m. I'm walking on the treadmill, and I thought, well, this is perfect. It's my time to get you know some of my stuff done. Well, I come back around 6.30 a.m. when you know bedtime should be happening, and or, or excuse me, waking up from bed should be happening. And um, I go into the hotel room, and I go and I see there's no baby in the bed. My two-year-old is not there. My husband is in the bed, and my six-year-old is in the bed, but there's no two-year-old. And um, I, f I freak out. I'm, I'm like, Jeremy, my husband, like, where, what's going on? Like, where's the baby? And then all of a sudden I hear this man down the hallway saying, ma'am, ma'am, ma'am. He's in, and I thought, what's going on? What, you know, I felt like I was in a bad dream. And um, he's like, you know what? There's a little girl. I mean, do you have a little girl? I was like, yes, I have two of them. I'm like, what's going on? He's like, well, we have this little girl. She was running around the seventh floor for um, like an hour and the security cameras caught her. Okay. So that's just one little thing that really got me ramped up. So then before I actually met Lori, what had happened was I was leaving a major conference room, thousands of people. And all of a sudden my two girls take off down the hallway, like out of sight people, like lots and lots of people are there. I can't see them. So here I am, my heart's racing, and I've had this experience over and over again since this little one was born because she had a near-death experience when she was really little, which I'll share with you another time. But so anyways, I'm looking for them down the hallway, can't find them, and all of a sudden at the end of the hallway there's a curtain, and I hear these little girls' voices, and I got okay, those are my girls, and there's other girls. So I stand there and I'm watching them play and all of a sudden I see another woman standing across, you know, maybe 10 feet away watching and kind of chuckling and seeing their, you know, the girls play. And I look over to, to her and I say, you must be the other mom. And it was Lori. And Lori's like, yes, I'm the other mom. Well, then we got talking and kind of shared our stories and I just happened to explain to her my anxiety levels and, and how intense they are and um, also some of the history of my little one with some severe health issues and she was still having some of those. And Lori said, well, have you heard of hemp? And I was like, hemp? Uh, maybe, so, I, I don't, I guess, uh, hemp? Oh, why do you ask? So all of a sudden, she starts sharing with me hemp and um here to find out her father you know dr rob heineman he earned his phd he's a scientist in molecular biology and molecular genetics from the george washington university he did his postdoctoral research through a combined program at the u.s naval research laboratory and georgiatown university school of medicine focusing specifically on how to push nutrients into the body cells so we can actually absorb and use those nutrients. And that is called a liposome, which don't worry, we are going to go in depth with. Um, and in this incredible interview, he being a top researcher in biology and medicine, liposomal delivery and nano enhanced technology. And that's really that sounds super complicated, and that means you're a really smart guy, Dr. Rob. So I'm so excited that you're here with us and your daughter, Lori. And um, to top off his research, 
career spans of 30 plus years, including 10 years at the National Cancer Institute where he became a cancer research expert. Dr. Rob is a published author of numerous medical and scientific publications and books. And he has been a speaker at local, national, and international conferences. His current mission is to inspire healthy living around the world so that nobody has to suffer. So I'm so excited for you, Dr. Rob, to be here. And I'm so excited for Lori. Lori is an international founder, an emerald leader uh, in Prime My Body. She holds a master's in professional counseling and master's in educational leadership. She spent 14 plus years as a school counselor, working with children ages kindergarten through eighth grade and managing a large special education department. Working with children and families has been a passion for her for over three decades and in many facets, including counseling, theater, and photography. And she is blessed to have two amazing, beautiful daughters that keep her on her toes, who are age six and seven. And her goals are that no one suffers either. So Dr. Rob and Lori, thank you so much for being here and sharing your expertise with us um, with so many of us on this topic of CBD oil and how CBD oil actually relates to anxiety and mood disorders and chronic pain and systemic inflammation. Well, thank you very much, Jessica. That was a very nice introduction for both of us. Well, thank you. All right, so there are so many misconceptions and myths I, I bet you both agree about um, in regards to CBD oil. And the layperson really doesn't understand what it is and what it's not, you know, if it's legal or if it's not legal, or are you, you know, allowed to buy it or not buy it? So let's just start from the very beginning. Does that sound good, guys? Yes. yes. Awesome. All right, so Dr. Rob, what made you interested in all this? nerdy information? Well, just to go back, uh, I usually start these talks out by giving a, a huge shout out to my late father. And if it wasn't for him, I probably would not be doing what I had done all my life and for my career. And my father had his PhD in microbiology, and he discovered the antibiotic tetracycline. And the way the story goes, when I was just five years old, he approached me and he told me to get my little shovel and my little bucket, and we're going to go to a field and dig up some dirt. So he did that, and I put the dirt in the bucket, gave it to him. He took it into his lab. That's how tetracycline was discovered. And he also came out with uh, additional antibiotics. Uh, he also went on to do some groundbreaking research in, in the area of cancer and cancer diagnostics. So, like I say, if it weren't for him, I probably would have not had this interest. So I immediately caught the bug, and for all my life, my entire career, I've been pursuing the scientific and medical research and come up with some very interesting things. And I, I just want to say, also starting out, that this is just a tremendous day. Today is, is just a tremendous day for the race. And you might be wondering, what race am I talking about? And I'm talking about the human race. And we all need hemp oil. That's all there is to it. This oil has been around for thousands of years. It dates back to biblical times. Just a little history lesson here. And really, only in the last 30 years or so has the endocannabinoid system been discovered. And it's, it's just been uh, really doing well as far as research goes. Uh, I got involved in it because of this liposomal technology. Uh, what, what I learned back uh, in my postdoctoral research days was that we need a vehicle, something that will move the nutrient, be, be it a, a plant-based medicine, be it a, an anti-cancer agent, which I was also working with. We need a vehicle to get that material into the cell in our body. And we have oh, roughly 86 trillion cells in, in the human body, plus or minus. I haven't counted all of them lately. But what we need to do is keep that cell healthy, hempy, and happy all the time, 24-7, 365. Because if we don't do that, we're going to end up with disease. And by keeping the immune system, for example, at its peak performance, we need 
to get rid of those bad germs, bacteria and viruses that enter our body and just make our cells very sick. So there's no question about it. And then when I heard about hemp oil and I started to read into that and what that does, I said, oh my gosh, you know, here it is. We, we've got it. And, and it's a natural product. It's a plant-based product. Mm -hmm. uh, th there are many uses of hemp uh, that I'm sure we all know about. The, the, uh, the first draft of the Declaration of Independence was written on paper made of hemp. Uh, every year we celebrate on June 14th, Flag Day, and uh, that's when Betsy Ross came up with the, the flag of the United States of America, which, by the way, was made of hemp. Uh, hemp back in the day was used as money. So now a whole lot of use for the big use now is with health, human health, and also all the other animals on this planet. Mammals, all the mammals just need this hemp. And the reason they need it is because it puts our entire system into balance and into homeostasis so that our cells can heal. Yes. Oh, that is awesome, Dr. Rob. First of all, thank you so much for sharing me your history and what really got you going in regards to your father. Like, that's incredible. Like, that's amazing. Yeah. I had no idea. So that is so neat that he was able to pave the way and now pave you're paving the way for millions across the world that's incredible and i am about to embark on the journey of what exam exactly is hemp in just a few seconds um but you know what i want to first do is could you explain to everybody because i think there's a lot of misconception in regards to what's the difference between hemp and marijuana would maybe Lori, do you want to take this yeah. off and talk about the difference between hemp and marijuana Absolutely. So, I mean, I too, I have two master's degrees. I'm, you know, pretty studied and I didn't know the difference of what hemp, what was hemp and what was marijuana. And actually, and maybe we can pop a picture up at some point. Um, it's so interesting because both plants look very different. Hemp is very tall and marijuana is very low and bushy. So they're cousin just, just as if like you have the citrus, right? Citrus is the family and you have lemons and oranges, right? They're cousins too. So that is the main, the biggest, the biggest difference is that marijuana has CBD, they both have. So hemp and marijuana both have CBD, which stands for cannabinoid diol. That gives us the medicinal benefits. And so the, the difference is, is that hemp has a lot of that CBD and the marijuana plant has a little of that CBD, that cannabinoid diol that gives us the medicinal benefits. So the other difference too is that there's THC and most of us know that that's the stuff that gets you high. So that's the psychoactive part and that's the illegal part. So that is switched. So hemp has very little amounts of THC and marijuana has very high amounts of THC. So, and so that's, that's the main differences. So you're getting much more concentrated amount of CBD, the medicinal part in hemp, but a lot less THC. And actually the federal legal limit currently is 0.3% for THC. And most hemp oils have way below that legal limit. The hemp oil that we're talking about today has zero THC which is beautiful because now, yep, yeah, you stop there. That is incredible. And, yeah. you know, I definitely don't want to cut you off, but that was such a great explanation and the fact that they're cousins and they have these amazing, powerful nutrients in them, but also the ratio. Because I remember as, you know, when I was growing up, I remember my grandpa used to say, I hope he's not smoking the wacky weed. And now, like, I get <laughs> the THC, right? And he'd be like, oh, he's, you know, mm, uh-uh. You don't want to touch any of that stuff that, you know, so I immediately assumed hemp with THC or that wacky weed. And I think 99.9% .9 of people think that. So that was awesome. Great, great explanation. Thank you. And, um, you know, and now Dr. Rob, you made a comment 
um, as you were talking, you were sharing with us how hemp is so helpful in the endocannabinoid system. I know it sounds endocannabinoid, what? Like that's what most people say, endo what? But um, there's an endocannabinoid system and I'm going to switch gears into that. If you wouldn't mind explaining exactly, um, you know, what and how does hemp or marijuana or CBD or whatever affect the endocannabinoid system? And what is exactly the endocannabinoid system? So I think the best way to answer that, Jessica, at this point, is to say that the endocannabinoid system or the ECS is pretty much the motherboard of all of our systems in the, in the human body. Uh, for example, we have a circulatory system, a nervous system, digestive system, immune system. So this ECS, endocannabinoid system, pretty much monitors all these other systems. So you need to have a very healthy, active, ECS in the body at all times because what it does is it brings the body into homeostasis and balance so our cells can do what our cells were meant to do, we're genetically programmed to do. And when the receptors are waiting for the cannabinoids to enter the cells, that's when magic starts and these nutrients, in this case, the, the phytocannabinoids get into the cell and do their magic. Uh, it turns out our, our cells were meant to heal themselves, as, as uh, I mentioned. And once you have a cell that is a sick cell, and I, I saw this when I worked at the National Cancer Institute, under the microscope, not only the general microscope that we're all used to in Bio 101, but also the electron microscope, where you can actually see cells at the molecular level, and you can see the parts of the cell, the, the nucleus, the ribosomes, all those neat things in the cell. And what, what I saw, uh, and I'm a very, very visual learner, is a cancer cell and a whole bunch of cancer cells actually reverting back to normal cells. So this, this happens. In, in that is in incredible. Wait, wait, can you repeat that? So cancer sure. cells and bunches of cancer cells, what yes. do they do? They can actually revert back to being normal cells, provided you give them the proper nutrients. That and is what, magical. Absolutely. And, you know, the proper fruits, vegetables, and in this case, the, uh, the hemp oil or the, the hemp extract. So those uh, phytonutrients, actually, yes. when they get inside the cell, can mm -hmm. truly turn really? the cell around from literally death to then thriving. Absolutely, it just reverses wow. itself. And uh, yeah, it, it's very, very exciting uh, actually to view that under the microscope and it, it's just a, a beautiful process. Oh, all right, so thank you so much. That is such great information, Dr. Rob. And just from a holistic Dr. Mama standpoint, um, I am definitely not saying that you know we can cure or treat or diagnose any form of cancer. What Dr. Rob was saying is what he saw under the microscope was positively amazing and that our cells are immediately affected and can heal from within when given the proper nutrients. And that is amazing. So thank you. And really quick, Dr. Rob, tell me about how in regards to what people experience, like for example, in the endocannabinoid system, like does it regulate pain or appetite or mood or like what does, what, I mean, you said it was the motherboard. Can you get a little bit specific on what exactly this endocannabinoid system does um, on a, like a more of a layman's term? Sure. The, the short answer to that is the phytocannabinoids uh, are able to get into the receptors attached to the cells and essentially program those cells to uh, work properly and to become healthy cells if they're not healthy. So one thing that I always like to bring up is that, uh, for example, in the female body, the organ in the female body that has the most receptors for the endocannabinoid system. Would anyone like to take a guess? Okay, time's up. It is the uterus. And that's no surprise. Why would the uterus, why would 
they be the organ in the females that have so many receptors and need this hemp extract so, so badly. It's because as a species, we need to propagate. We need to make babies. And so when you have all these receptors on the uterus, they're all programmed and plugged in to make that baby as healthy and as it can be. Oh, and, um, our human body is amazing. It just it makes is. you want to have another it one. It makes you want to have another baby. Absolutely. <laughs> right, Lori? <laughs> no. As far as another baby? Uh, sure, Grandpa. You take care of it, right? <laughs> right? You take well, care. I've got five grandchildren now, so it, yeah, it's getting up there. You know what else is fascinating, if I could just interject for a second, about Absolutely. this cannabinoid system? You know, I talk to people all of the time, and they're like, okay, so I'm going to take one dosage and I'm going to feel all the benefits right away, right? And I said, Wrong. probably not. Maybe, but probably not because we have not been feeding this endocannabinoid system the food that it needs to work. So it is very, very dormant. And myself, I had an experience when I first started taking this oil, I didn't feel a thing for almost two and a half weeks. And now I understand it because my endocrine system was so asleep and dormant. I had to use that time to feed my body this hemp so, my, so it could go in and open these receptors revive this dormant endocannabinoid system. And what's fascinating, I mean, this is a plant. Hemp has been illegal for the last 80 years. So before that, people have this in their diet. The, the livestock that we that people were eating, right? They were eating hemp plants. I actually have a um, acquaintance who grew up in the Ukraine. Her grandmother had a, a fence of hemp and used to grind it up every day and sprinkle it over their food. So wow. this has been, isn't that fascinating? Yeah. So we were getting it in our systems back in the day, but since this country made that illegal for the past 80 years, we haven't been feeding our bodies that. So we have to realize it takes a little bit of time, right, to let this, this hemp get in our system, open up those receptors, revive this endocannabinoid system so it can now work, bring our bodies back into balance so our bodies can heal themselves. That is incredible. It kind of, it makes me think about how grass-fed beef, when it's a hundred percent grass-fed local, that healthy fat is in it. And, you know, it's so good for you versus, wow. you know, whenever you have um, like, you know, corn, corn fed and soy based products being fed to our livestock that, that really makes a difference in the quality of the meat, but also how it affects our internal system. So that makes mm -hmm. complete sense and how our ancestors were just so much more powerful in regard to their health and didn't have all these diagnoses constantly. And, you know, thank you, Lori, for bringing that up in regards to, um, all of that, but why, could you share with me why exactly you started taking hemp and why you started taking CBD oil? Absolutely. So, you know, for me, it was an educational process too. I didn't realize that hemp was legal. I thought you still got that high. So I'm so glad that I was an open-minded person to learn about this because clearly you don't have that piece at all. So I was really interested in using it after I found out that it was legal. Um, because I was suffering from horrible, chronic uh, plantar fasciitis heel pain. So it was the worst when I woke up in the morning, you get out of bed and this shooting pain up your body. And literally every time I got up from a seated position and I dealt with this pain for two years, I went to a chiropractor, not you guys, <laughs> a massage therapist. I stretched, I iced, I slept with that goofy boot at night and nothing helped. So I had heard that it that CBD might be able to help with pain and inflammation. So I I started and within three weeks that pain was ninety five percent gone, and within about five six weeks that pain was a hundred percent gone. So and you don't even realize how bad something is until it's gone. So that was just huge and. 
And after that, so after that piece was resolved, then I could feel all of the other things. The first thing I felt after that was my anxiety level. It was much, much lower. And we, my gosh, we don't even realize, again, how heightened our anxiety is as we go through life until you have something like this to bring that back into balance. So for the steady, so it offers me steady anxiety levels, but also in acute situations too, when you, you know, kind of get to fly off the deep end, it's that it helps that too. It just brings that anxiety down. So it has helped me with that. I thought I had amazing sleep, but I guess I did not because I have even better sleep. Um, and beautiful dreams with while using this oil. Um, I also can focus a lot better. I get my tasks done because I'm able to turn out turn off the noise. There's so much noise that goes on in and around us all the time. So I'm able to turn that down and be able to focus more. Um, my energy has always been a battle. I have hypothyroidism and Hashimoto's. And so, you know, that's always been a, a battle to figure out the energy, even, you know, while I was pregnant, you have to get your blood tested so much, but I was finding myself having to sit on the couch at around four o'clock in the afternoon, the four o'clock slump and just, oh, give me 10 minutes. And that would turn into 15 minutes and that would turn into 45 minutes. And then you're feeling guilty because there's so many things you need to do. Sure. And what I know after a couple months of using this oil, I didn't have to sit on the couch anymore. So I now have this beautifully sustained energy throughout the day. And it's not like a caffeine energy, right? Where you got to get your coffee in the morning and you spike right. up and then you stop. This is just a beautiful sustained energy. And I know we're going to get a little bit more into the very unique delivery system of this, but the magic that I can see is when I get a headache and thank goodness I don't have headaches that often. Um, but I, when I do get a headache, I can literally put this in my mouth and with, before I even swallow all of the oil, that headache is gone. And that shows me the power of, of this delivery system. It's fantastic. You know, too, Lori, I, I love when you talk about the, the length of the, of the fuse as it relates to your children. I, I'd like to hear that again. That, that's great. <laughs> How could I forget that? Thanks, right. Dr. Rob. <laughs> that's one of the only, only because season. Grampy thought of it, right? <laughs> <laughs> so what that, have, you mean you're, you actually have a short fuse with your children? Like, <laughs> what? Docking, right? I cannot believe that. <laughs> That, oh my uh, gosh. I have two I, young daughters. They are six and seven. And that has been a major factor in this too. Oh. My fuse is so much longer with them. What, what would get me going back before this oil, you know, the attack, the react. Ah, now I have a much longer fuse. Do I still bark at my children? Yes, I do. It's just a lot less barking. You know, honestly, <laughs> this brings me tears to my eyes because I seriously feel the exact same way. In fact, um, you know, after my little girl had a near-death experience, I was on, I had no idea on a scale of anxiety of zero to 10, I was on like 50, right? Mm -hmm. All the time, very reactive. Like anytime she'd climb, so, you know, I was just constantly reactive and I and it carried over into my relationship with my husband. You know, if I would be short and I would be quick to react and I had no idea, just like what you said, how powerful once you actually can kind of down regulate your system and how all of a sudden present you can be and think consciously and make you know safe nice healthier decisions rather than having to apologize constantly because you're reacting so I yes. totally get that. It's so true. And as moms, I mean, we're constantly, I know my mommy friends, oh, we're exhausted, right? You get to the end of the day, you're exhausted. And being a reactive person is absolutely exhausting. Totally. So when you can take that element away and not having to be such a reactive person and parent, oh my gosh, you have so much more energy for the beautiful things mm -hmm. and the beautiful relationship that, and, that you're providing for your children. It's so yeah. cool. 
Awesome. And Dr. Rob, now you, will you tell me a little bit as to why, you know, what your experience has been with CBD? Like, why did you get involved with taking it personally? I mean, I know other than, other than the fact that you've mentioned, like it is something is that is essential that everybody needs, but why, if you don't mind getting a little bit personal in regards to what brought you to wanting to take it? Sure. Absolutely. No, no problem at all. Uh, because I, I love sharing my story and, and when I hear other people's stories, it's the testimonials that are just so heartfelt and, and they're so wonderful to listen to and, and to hear how people have much better health uh, because of this uh, hemp oil. And as far as it goes for myself, uh, I remember when we all started taking hemp oil, uh, I had some neuropathy in my left leg. And after I took the oil, what that what is neuropathy? Neuropathy essentially is a uh, a disturbance of the nervous system, and I had that going on in my left leg. And as far as symptoms are concerned, I, I would get some cramps, and uh, yeah, I was able to live with it. But I was wondering, gee, what's going on here? And so after taking the hemp oil for a period of time, it, it disappeared, totally disappeared. Uh, wow. I was able to get off of my blood pressure medication. Uh, I, I, I think everybody who is taking medications has to have for their goal, uh, get off that med because as we know, the meds that are prescribed to people these days, and when people take these meds, generally they have adverse side effects. So what do they do? They go back to the doc, and they say, hey, doc, this is the problem. So the doctor prescribes additional medications. And this just keeps going and going and going. And it's totally out of control. You've got to break this cycle because medications are synthetic. And they are going to damage the body and harm the cells. Again, I mean, it all gets back to the health of the cells. No, you brought up a really important point because I just started thinking about when I, you know, had worked with patients and clients, you know, around the world and they would say, you know, I went into the doc and they, they gave me an SSRI, okay, or gave me some sort of medication for my anxiety or mood, maybe my depression, whatever it was. Mm -hmm. And it was like, it started working, but then all of a sudden, like they'd have to go in and, and their dosage would have to go up. And it seemed right. like after so long, it, it wasn't working anymore. It, it, is that what you're saying? Basically, the body reacts to those pharmaceuticals in that way? And, Absolutely. Um, okay. Well, thank you. That is yes. awesome. Yes, that, that's what happens. And, of course, the uh, Western medicine just loves that because it, it just keeps that vicious cycle going whereby the, the doctor will prescribe medications. And then, you know, you, don't forget, we are living in a very, very extremely toxic world uh, with, with the foods we eat, with the beverages we drink, with the air we breathe. So once these medical issues develop, people are constantly running back and forth to the doctor. And I, I kind of get, uh, it, it makes me kind of laugh when I watch the world news in the evening, in a 30-minute world news broadcast, there are probably five or six commercials all sponsored by Big Pharma, the, the, the medications that are given to people. And when they say at the end of, these, of each commercial, and oh, by the way, it can kill you. I mean, you know, what, what don't people understand about this? Whereas it's, scary. it's definitely scary. It's very scary. And, and if you have this, this plant-based medicine available already in hemp oil, you don't get these side effects. It, it's, wow. a, it's a natural healer. And, and I will repeat as my disclaimer uh, that we, we cannot claim to, to, to treat, heal, cure, prevent, or diagnose any disease. But the nice thing about it, and I'm not Bill Nye, the science guy. I'm Dr. Rob, the show me the science guy. And once you see the literature, and there are literally thousands of published articles in the medical and scientific journals on the benefits of hemp oil. 
That's awesome. Thank you, Dr. Rob. That has been, that, that's amazing information. Um, now I'm going to go ahead. You had mentioned something a little bit about, you know, nutrition and getting into the cells. So I'm going to backtrack a little bit if that's okay. And, um, you know, in, we, we, we address some of that pharmaceutical stuff. Let's address nutritional products like in regards to industry. I feel like anytime I go into, you know, a grocery store or I go into, um, you know, maybe a, a natural food store or co-op or whatever, there's a barrage of different nutritional products. I mean, so much, it's so overwhelming. And, you know, you go to ask like, hey, what can, you know, ask the person that's been trained, you know, hopefully trained really well, but 99% of the time, you know, you, you, you can't know that how well they've been trained. But tell me a little bit about how are these nutritional products that are on the shelves absorbed in the body and compare it with and, and basically what is that like i know it from a medical term it's bioavailability like bioavailable but what is bioavailable really mean and what's the importance of that well bioavailability uh, essentially uh, relates to uh, how fast or slow uh, a, a medication can, or a chemical that's required for metabolism in the body. How fast can get, that get into the circulatory system, the blood system, so mm -hmm. it can be transported to the various organs and cells throughout the entire body and hit all those 86 trillion cells that I was talking about earlier. Uh, and I think when you look at bioavailability, you want that material to get into that cell immediately. And this is why we use the word immediacy. And we, we have that with the hemp oil by virtue of the delivery system, which is what I worked on back in the day, the liposomal delivery system. And what's nice about the delivery system is that the payload, in this case, the hemp oil, that is contained within a liposome gets into the cell quickly very, very quickly and starts doing its magic. Uh, the hemp oil that we're using is uh, placed in the mouth, on the tongue or under the tongue, and within a matter of minutes, it's already in the blood vessels, it's in the arteries, the veins, the capillaries, especially under the tongue because that's a very highly vascular area, meaning that it has a lot of blood vessels underneath it. It gets into those blood vessels, and it gets up into the brain, it crosses the blood-brain barrier. That's, that's why we know that hemp oil is so good against oh, it's epilepsy. Calming. Yeah. It's the calming effect, and that's another uh, uh, feature it had on me, the calming, less anxiety. But it does cross that blood-brain barrier and really helps in uh, treating epilepsy, Alzheimer's, Parkinson's, all those neurotransmitter diseases. And then it gets throughout the body and the organs and, uh, and just works, uh, works its, uh, its beauty in those cells as well. So, and I, I, oh, sorry, I, sorry. I, 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 Didn't I mean to cut want, you off, Dr. Rob. Oh, that's okay. I, I just wanted to mention that uh, a lot of people, uh, you were asking a, a little earlier, with, with taking some of these meds and are they really doing any good in the body, uh, I'll just pull out of the air the subject of vitamins. Uh, you know, it used to be thought that vitamins are so good for people. Well, it turns out they're not. In fact, they're, they can be very harmful. But people take a lot of these dietary supplements, which in my opinion, do not do what they need to do. And we joke about it by saying that, well, Americans have the most expensive pee in the world because all of this stuff is just going through their body doing nothing, it's being degraded by the stomach and by the small intestine. If, if you take an, an oral medication or vitamin or another over-the-counter uh, product, so it goes down the esophagus into the stomach, it, it's beaten up by the enzymes in the stomach, by the stomach acid and other chemicals that are there. And so once it pees, the person pees it out, it's gone. And they got it. people have to take more and more and more of it. And, well, that's and some expensive happens. stuff going right through Absolutely. you, right into the toilet, basically. Right into the toilet. And 
And you had mentioned liposome. I mean, you studied liposomes for decades. And I kind of like to think of a liposome as basically a, a bubble of fat that surrounds the nutrient so it can go right into the cell. And, um, and thank you for explaining the importance of why that needs to get into the cells and, and mm -hmm. also, um, so Dr. Rob, thank you so much. And with all those decades of studying liposome, meaning that fat around the nutrient so it gets into the cell. Lori, can you explain from a layperson's standpoint of like, why is it important to be aware of what products you're getting and buying and putting into your body? Yeah, it's a great question. I mean, and here's the thing, CBD is not absorbed well in the human body. So when, you know, most CBD hemp oils, unfortunately, don't utilize this unique delivery system. So that means it's not getting where it needs to go. So the analogy I like to use is like when you're buying something, we're all buying stuff on Amazon these days, right? So if you don't have the right shipping address on that package that you order from Amazon, it's never going to get where it needs to go, right? So you've got wasted time, wasted money, it's just never gonna get there. And knowing that CBD is not absorbed well, seven to 10% absorption is what, what most of the other CBD hemp oils on the market have. So that means when you're buying a dollar, a dollar, a bottle that's $100, you're wasting a ton of money because only seven to 10% of that CBD in there is actually getting to where it needs to go. So that's almost like you're putting a boot under your tongue. <laughs> that boot yeah. is never going to get into our system. So we have to have a way for that CBD to be able to get right into the cell. And that's how we have using this liposomal delivery. That's what we have. So now the absorption rate, we're talking about a 90%, at minimum, a 90% absorption rate by using these little fat bubbles, these little vehicles to get the CBD right where it needs to go. That is incredible. I totally agree because when I took that oil, the recept for the first time, I felt it immediately. It didn't take minutes. It didn't take the day. I mean, I literally felt it. It was like, oh, wow, this has got some magic in it. I like it. And now, one thing that kind of crossed my mind was, um, so basically, is CBD legal? That, will you share that real quick? Now, you said it was legal. Now, is it legal in every state? Like, tell me a little bit about that. Just really short, like, I think a lot of people still um, feel like, gosh, I don't, I, I'm like, this might not be legal. This is, might not be safe for me. Like, I might be breaking the law. That's a huge deal to me. And I would never want any, you know, anybody to feel like they're breaking the law. So what do you, what do you, how do you say and talk about that? Yeah, absolutely. Well, you know, it actually started with the Farm Bill of 2017. Do I have that? Yes, Dan? It started to, uh, 2014 and then mo most recently this past uh, December 2018. That, that our current president signed making right. hemp legal in all 50 states. And that is super exciting. Now, within those states, you know, it's all about the bottom line, the mighty buck. So within those states, there are different legislatures, legislation going on within different states. But hemp is legal in all 50 states. And it's because, remember, it's that amount of THC, the psychoactive, the federal legal limit for THC is 0.3%. So anything under that is completely legal. And the beauty with Recept, there is zero THC. So that's phenomenal because I know there are a lot. Zero. Yeah, because, zero. because there's a lot of people in this country who, you know, there's ra random drug tests at their employment and they could lose jobs if anything was found in their system. So now this opens up 
opportunity for these people, especially like pilots and people who work for the government and truck drivers. Everyone's able to take this now because there is zero THC, the zero of the psychoactive element, which is fantastic. That, that is huge. And um, so, you know, tell me a little bit more about this reset. Basically, that's the brand you use. And, um, you know, you, you use the reset from Prime My Body. And it has this amazing delivery system like Dr. Rob was talking about. Um, like, what is the best way for someone to choose a CBD oil in the first place? Like, how do you actually choose with everything from all the green mom and pop stores where we used to live to, you know, the co-ops now? I mean, everything you see, there's so much marketing for CBD. How does somebody choose? Right. So you, you, you know, you want to use this, right? Cause you're hearing all the amazing benefits, but you're like, now what, which one do I use? And how do I understand how to even find the right one? And one of the big things, you know, that we've been discussing is that delivery system, right? So you do want to make sure that there is a delivery system to be able to get this CBD. That's really hard to absorb from, you know, our bodies have a hard time absorbing it. So we want to make sure there's a delivery system that gets it there. And so right off the bat, we know Recept has nano particles, sonicated nano liposomal delivery. So maybe Dr. Rob can get into a little bit more about nano sonicated and what that means. But we've got the delivery system. So that's a check, right? We also want to know what's in it. We want to be able to see what's called, and it comes from a certificate of analysis. So that is being able to see everything that is in it and everything that shouldn't be in it. Because unfortunately, so hemp is an amazing, amazing plant. And you can actually plant hemp in really um, um, toxic soil and it's able to clean that soil which is phenomenal. So it's actually it an the soil. It cleans the soil. Unbelievable. So it is actually a natural bioaccumulator. It sucks up those toxins, which is great for our soil, but you don't want to be putting that particular hemp into your body, right? right? So unfortunately, I do have people I talk to and they say, oh, I'm just going to buy the $20 bottle of CBD oil on Amazon. And I say, no, you don't know what's in there. You want to make sure that the heavy metals that hemp can absorb in the soil is not in the oil that you're putting in your body. A reputable brand of CBD hemp oil is going to have a certificate of analysis that lists exactly what is in there. So you want to be able to look for that too. So you need a reputable company basically sourcing this hemp and being able to also put the stuff properly into a bottle safely and labeling it properly. Because yes. I know that they're and testing it, making sure it's free of herbicides and heavy metals and chemicals and everything else. So that's really critical. Like you've got to have a company that can back up that certificate analysis and back up what's really in the bottle. Cause sometimes you could get more than what you really bargained or a little less than what you bargained. And that is not safe. So thank yes. you. This is not a place where you want to cut corners with price you really need to know what is in that oil that is going into your body with CBD. That is awesome. Now, that is incredible. Thank you. And I'm so grateful that Prime My Body has that. And it's literally on the cutting edge. And Dr. Rob, would you share with us, like, what, what is so powerful and unique about this reset? That, and, and why does it stand out so much on the market now? There are several answers for that, uh, and I just want to piggyback on, on what Lori was saying uh, with, with the, the quality of the hemp. All of the hemp that is used in Recep is sourced here in the United States, in the state of Colorado, hmm. and we know it's good, it's organically grown, and it's just good stuff. You know, you, you always want to start off with uh, the best stuff you can, the best source, and we have it. Uh, regarding other features of uh, Recept, uh, people have been saying that they feel the immediacy. 
And I think you mentioned that you, you felt that primary reason for that is because of a technology called sonication. And I was using this technology back in the day when I was using uh, liposomes. And what sonication is, it's a very good procedure for breaking down those liposomes into teeny weeny liposomes. And the, the best way I can make an analogy is picture a basketball, okay, big basketball. Well, that's not going to be able to get into the bloodstream, is it? Pretty big. So, so then you go down to, let's say, the size of a ping pong ball. And, well, you're getting there, but you can't get that, that into the blood vessels. So you, you keep going smaller and smaller. Let's say the size of a, a ball bearing or a BB. It's getting smaller and smaller and smaller. And it turns out the average size of the liposomes in Recept is on the order of 20 nanometers or 20 nanometers. Now, nano means small. Uh, we, we've heard of, for example, if you look at a clock and you see the second hand sweeping around the clock, one Mississippi, two Mississippi. Okay, so take one second one second and divide that into a billion pieces what a billion pieces yeah wow yeah, yeah. that is called what that's a nanosecond oh, oh no. yeah. a nanosecond so the smaller you have it in the case of liposomes the better off it is but you can't go real real small because you won't be able to retain the payload so it turns out at 20 nanometers, that's a perfect size for these liposomes to not only get into the bloodstream, but to get into the cell. And because the liposome has on its outer membrane phosphatidylcholine, which is a fatty material, which is the same material that our human cells have, it just fits right into the cell membrane and it goes right into the cell and dumps the hemp oil. So and that's that it is amazing and that is Absolutely. such a great explanation to dr rob and really quick so tell me about what nutrients because something that really caught my eye was that there's more than just cbd in this recept there is something um a lot more than anything i've ever seen that really took me back to be like you know because one thing i do know really 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 well is that our bodies do very well with needing a lot of different variety of nutrients okay we need a little bit of a lot of variety for our body to really heal so tell me about recept in that regard yeah that's a great question jessica uh, we call that a synergy, essentially. And synergy means a lot of different nutrients, or when you boil it down, a lot of different chemicals, but natural chemicals, natural components, working with each other. And in addition to having CBD, cannabidiol, we have CBG, which is cannabigerol, or some people pronounce it cannabigerol. We have uh, other uh, phytocannabinoids there as well. We have seven terpenes. Uh, the terpenes are those chemicals in plants that uh, produce the aroma of, uh, of the particular plant. So those are all in there. And we, we have all these working synergistically. And we get what's called the entourage effect, which is good. It's, it's good. So we have all these uh, very potent plant-based components working with each other and producing really good health for ourselves. That's amazing. So just to recap, this Recept has no THC. It's organically right. grown, and it is, it's got the stamp to make sure that it has no heavy metals and chemicals and pesticides. It's non-GMO, which is huge, okay? Because a lot of, I know, and I've noticed a lot of different CBD oils on the market, they are non-GMO, but however, they're put into a GMO oil. So that's not right. good, all right? right? And then, not to mention, it has the synergy effect of lots of different nutrients going into the cell. That is a powerful, powerful, powerful thing. Thank you. you Absolutely. Guys,
I honestly, um, this has been such an amazing experience with both of you guys. I can't even believe how incredible and very insightful it all, it all has been. In the midst of all the misinformation and uh, misconceptions, you know, the false marketing tactics and claims, you both have really, really helped my audience learn the truth behind CBD. And I thank you so, so very much. Well, thank you very much, Jessica and Jeremy. Uh, it, it's been fun for both myself and, uh, and my daughter, uh, Lori. And I, I would just like to, to close. I, I think some of your audience might be interested in this. Uh, the whole reason and the whole way that a lot of these cannabinoids came about uh, was, was done by a professor at the Hebrew University in Jerusalem, Israel. And I would encourage your audience to go to YouTube and search The Scientist. It's a video called The Scientist, Dr. Raphael Mishulam. Raphael is spelled R-A-P-H-A-E-L. Mishulam is M-E-C-H-O-U-L-A-M. It's about an hour long video and it's just marvelous. It will, it will give your audience a really good handle on how we, as research scientists, track down a certain problem or a certain area of interest. And it, it will show how Dr. Mishulam was the first one to identify what's called Delta-9 THC, tetrahydrocannabinol, which is a psychoactive component of, of marijuana and also how they derive the endocannabinoid system. It, it's just very, very interesting as, to show people how science and medical research happen. That's amazing. Now, thank you for sharing that, and I hope people can go ahead and, and watch that and really uncover more of this mystery, because really, I feel like it just popped up on the market. You know what I mean? It just popped up and it's like, oh, you got CBD, this, that. And I mean, everywhere you turn now. So thank you. And oh, that was awesome, guys. Okay. So, now, Lori, do you have anything to add in the close? Because, um, yeah, I'd love to hear if there's anything you'd like to share. Sure. You know, I just, I'm so happy that we have this opportunity on this planet right now. There's a huge shift going on, you know, to be able to have a better quality of life in so many different spaces and places in our life. Is and, you know, here I wake up every day. I was, I was a school counselor for 14 years. I worked with a lot of children and families in those 14 years. I've been working in this cannabis industry with CBD hemp for just a year and a half. And I feel like I'm actually doing more I'm doing more for people in this venue than in those 14 plus years because this goes in so quickly into the body and into a family. And I hear every day I get to wake up to new stories from people that I have shared this oil with down to just, you know, a child who has a diagnosis of, you know, not being able to focus and how the changes in his little brain are and how that affects the entire family unit. It's huge. So and to knowing be able to that this is completely safe Absolutely. for a child, like that's incredible. There's no adverse effects. Like, that no. is powerful. It's, it's so powerful. And to be, to see that and to hear those stories, that's what motivates me every day to be able to talk with more people, to share this and to educate. You know, we are pioneers in this industry that has been illegal for years and years. So it's a true blessing to be able to share with you guys and your listeners. And um, it's just a blessing to be here and, and to see, to bear witness to, to what's going on. So exciting. That's a whole nother story uh, about the illegality of the the, the hemp products, uh, but not going to get into that. That that can be the subject of another um, another recording. Yeah, uh, I, we would but, love that. Oh, absolutely! And uh, you know, getting back to the the uterus in, in the uh, in the females uh, in the humans uh, having the most 
receptors, and we call them either CB1 or CB2 receptors. And these also get into the developing fetus. And even mommy's milk has a lot of these endocannabinoids in it, and it, the, the phytocannabinoids, and goes into baby uh, while baby is breastfeeding. And it, it's, all, it, it's all tied together. It's just uh, a, a wonderful picture of, of life. And also uh, every mammal, every mammal on this planet has an endocannabinoid system as well. Good things. That is awesome. All right, guys, thank you so much, and I'm wishing you well. Thank you. <laughs>